Okay, I am super, super excited to share with you this extension and it's free and it's easy to use, but most importantly, it is super, super helpful, especially if you have different resources that have a lot of pages and maybe you don't wanna share all those pages with your students at once. So I'm gonna show you how to use the slip and slide extension in order to build on slide presentations that your students are working on. So I'm gonna demonstrate with this comma rules flipbook, and it has like several different rules and I don't wanna share them all at once. So what I'm gonna do is think about what I wanna share with the students initially, and that's maybe just the cover and maybe the first rule. So I'm gonna delete everything else and then share that in Google Classroom, just like I would share anything else. So now that it's ready, I'm gonna go into Google Classroom and then just create a new assignment and then I'm going to call it comma flipbook, find that Google Slides from my Google Drive. And let's see there, let's see, original, here it is. Nope, not that one. Okay, I've practiced this a couple of times, so you can you can see that they're they're pulling from my students. Okay, so clicking insert, and there it is. I want to change it to students can make a copy. There we go. And now once I click assign, it will make a folder inside of my Google Drive. And in that folder will be a comma flipbook folder with all of my students. Now this is just a practice account for me. I don't really have one, so I only have two students in mind, but all of your students will be in there. So it's assigning and as it's assigning, it's going to automatically put them inside of your Google Classroom. So to get to that, you're just in your drive, you find your classroom folder that's created automatically as you use your Google Classroom, and then it's in the class and there's the folder. If I click on it, I'll see my students, which I only have two, and it looks like, oh, there's the second one, me and my daughter. So um, so it's all ready to go and they've, they've been assigned. And once whatever you assigned your students is what they get and is what it is. So here we see that what I assign to them is those just those two slides that I showed you originally. Now, if I go back here, I'm going to undo by pressing control Z. I'm going to undo deleting all those so that my original is back to the original. But when I do that, notice that when I go back into one of the files and refresh it, it's going to still be just those same two. If you hear snoring, ignore it. It's my dog. <laughs> okay, so see, they're still just the same two. So now we're going to use the slip and slide extension to build on those two. So how you do that is first get the extension. So in a new tab, you're going to just type in slip and slide extension. And then once you find it, you'll see it in the marketplace. And then you're just going to install it. So I've already installed mine, so mine can already be found inside of my Google Slides. So here I am back into my original Google Slides there. I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I'll keep the student one open so I can show you back and forth. But maybe now I want to assign another page. Maybe it's the next day and we're ready to work on the second comma rule. So we're gonna use the slip and slide add-on. So the first time you use it, it's probably going to tell you to start. So click on slip and slide. I'm gonna click on select a single folder. Okay, so sometimes it may do a process of getting started and that's okay, just wait for it to do that process. But once you get through that process, it will let you select a folder and what you're gonna do is select the folder from your Google Classroom. So there it is right there, comma flipbook, Google Classroom folder. So I'm gonna click select. And it does say the window will close when done. So don't close it before it closes it by itself. There we go, now it's closed. Okay, so I wanna share slide number three. So I have to go back into the add-on again, click slip and slide again. And this time we're gonna choose the second option that says slip the slides to comma flipbook folder. So I'm gonna click that. And now there are some options. You have to choose which slides you want to share. So I want to share slide number three. So I'm gonna click slide number three. And then where would you like to end it? 
well, I want to only share one slide. So I'm just going to share the next slide. And then there's one more question. Where do you want to slip the slide? And I want to choose at the very end. Okay, so it's going to do its thing while you wait for just a second. And then it will all be done. Okay, so it said the slides have been slipped into the following presentations. So remember, I only had two students. Um, but all of your students will be here. And when you're done, you can just X that out. And now this slide, just slide number two, has been slipped into all of your students. So if I go back to my student tab, you can see now that it's the original two that I assigned plus that third one that I slipped in. So I hope that you're able to use this amazing extension. If you're using learning pads or you're doing long resources, that come with, you know, maybe a, like a practice page for every day of the week. This is a great way just to continually build upon the work that your students are already doing. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have fun.